Okay, to add collisions to this, what we'll do is we'll go to our smoke source and here where we were getting the geometry from Iron Man, press G. What we'll do is we'll, I'll just create a null here. So this is gonna be uh, my collision. So I'm gonna say out smoke collision. And we'll also have a VDB version of this that we can use as a volume sample. So we'll create a VDB from polygons. Connect it here. We'll reduce the size to 0 0.01, so like that. And let's expand this a bit, 0, 4, 4. Next, um, I'm just going to copy this, connect this here, and this is going to be collision VDB. Okay, so that's done. Let's go up and let's go to our smoke sim. And here we'll create a static object. We'll point this to our collision object. It's going to be this. Let's turn on the forming. Otherwise it won't move. And after this, we'll just go down here to collisions. And instead of a ray intersect, we'll have a volume sample. And we'll choose the proxy volume to be the VDB. Okay. And that's it. So if we look at the geometry that's going to be used for collision, we'll, we'll see that. This is what's gonna be taken into account. Now let's merge this into our sim, creating a merge. This goes to the left, this goes on the right. Okay, so just turn this on, this off. Remember the merge needs to be collide relationship, left input affects right. Finally, we're all set. Let's go here to the smoke object. Just make sure that we lower the resolution quite a bit to five. And also here on the pyro solver, I'm going to go to advanced and turn off OpenCL. I won't have enough memory to calculate this. So you need to turn off OpenCL. It's going to take a bit longer to calculate. And um, also let's also add a sub step because it's everything's going pretty fast. So one sub step makes sense. Finally, we'll just create a, a ge another geometry node. That's going to be the actual render smoke render. And as we've done this before, we'll use the top import fields. We'll point it to the network, uh, to the top network, smoke sim, accept. And the smoke, the top node is going to be the smoke object. And we want to import smoke. Uh, of all the channels that this preset has, we're only concerned with density and velocity. We're not really worried about any of these extra ones. So um, having done that, I'll just create a file cache. And this I'm going to put into same. And let's say smoke, smoke. And that's basically it. So now I'm just gonna hit save to disk. And after it finish, it's gonna take uh, a while. And once it's done, I'll calculate, I'll render a flip book of what we have. And we'll have a look at that in a moment. So the simulation is finished. And before we generate a flip book out of this, let's go over to our render and let's add a volume visualize. We'll connect it here. This allows us to have just uh, the ability to increase the density scale as much as we want so we can actually see the effect better. So uh, here on the density field, I'm just gonna declare the density and we, we get what we had before. And now on the scale, Let's go up to 50. This right now just looks like kind of a blob. 
we also need some lighting to have some proper visualization of the the smoke so now let's go up and i'll just create i'll just gonna i'm just gonna click here on the skylight it's gonna add um a sun a sunlight and a skylight for us to be able to just quickly have a look at how this how this is developing let's turn on the lights maybe uh, this version this might be a bit too much maybe this one is enough but we we have a better sense of the volume of the smoke if you think it's too much the density you can bring it down to 20 or something like that uh, but i'll keep it at 40 or something and i'll generate a flipbook out of this and we'll be right back 